So the next pattern you have when you are a green belt and you are working towards your blue tag is one yo pull. So one yo has 28 movements. This is the first pattern that we have a, a different starting ready position. So our feet are together and we have our right hand, we make a fist with our right hand. And this hand here, we place our fingers uh, just in around this kind of position here. We'll explain the details more about this in class. But we have a fist and our hand. We don't put our hand all the way over. So in, in this position here. So this is called mostly the A. So it's ready stance A. As you go through the patterns, there's different ready stances for the patterns. So, um, mostly the A. So the hands in this position come up just in front, just below the philtrum, or just in front of the philtrum, so you should be able to see over the hands. It's not into your face, just nice and relaxed out in this position here. So it should look similar to this. So that's your starting position. From here we move into our twin forearm block, which we've done before in Dangun. So we relax, step into L stance. We have that twin block. So at this point you should be familiar with this. From here, we're going to stay in the position and we're going to do an inward right hand strike. So notice I'm looking over my primary blocking arm here, and now I change my eye position here. So my attack is with the inward right hand and it's towards the neck area. Okay, so from this position then, we slip our foot into a new stance called fixed stance. If you remember L stance, is a 70% the back leg, 30% the front leg. We slip the front foot slightly out into what's called Goshen Sugi fixed stance, which is a 50 50 weight distribution. It looks similar though to health stance. From here, we repeat what we just did. So we bring our feet together, we chamber, we relax, twin block on the opposite side. So remember, these are two blocks primary attack this side, secondary attack this side. From here, we do our sine wave, we relax. Notice I bring my hands out and in to get some trajectory, okay? Otherwise, I wouldn't have any motion. Uh, if I were to just keep my hand here and do this, I don't have enough power, so I relax, create some backward motion. From here, we step out into our fixed stance punch. Notice this hand, same on the other side, but notice this hand. What happens here is I relax and I make sure that hand comes down towards my hip down here and then into the punch. So imagine, again, I'm here and step. From this position here, we move into something called Gaburio Sugi. It's another uh, ready stance called ready bending stance for sighting. So we move, we prep, we go down, up, and drop. Now this, is, this can be definitely a tricky stance. Okay, we'll talk about it at the end. But here's the position, and we're prepping for a side kick. So from here we do our yak chagi, and then we land into L stance, light hand, garden block. So nice and relaxed from here, side kick, and then land. Okay. After each kick, we want to have a sine wave. Again, I'll come back to that movement in a moment. But from here, as the pattern goes, we have another one of these, light hand, garden block, and one more, light hand, garden block. We move into walking stance then, Sun Sun Kontoji. So we've done this movement before in Dosan. And now we repeat what we did at the start with our pivot turn. So we do a pivot turn from here. We do the twin block. The inward light hand strike. Notice the hand comes down to the hip into fixed stance. From here, feet go together, chamber, twin block. Knife hand, inward strike. Fixed stance punch. From here we move into the Limio Maki, which is a circular block. So the feet are going to come together, they're both pointing the same direction. You leave this hand out and you're going to step the left foot out first. This hand is going to go underneath this one. Okay, so we step underneath, we go down, up, and then we have um, this block here, which is like an inner forearm middle block. And um, we're on the opposite side. I'm going to talk about this one again in a moment. From here, we have a low section punch snap kick, followed by a reverse punch. We now do another circular block, the Lino Aki. So this time, the hand is set in front, it's going to go underneath. So we relax, hands come out, under, we have our circular block. Next move from here is our low section punch snap kick, followed by a punch. The next move from here is the burial of the prepping again for side kick. 
So we relax, drop, keep the balance, and then we do our side kick. After side kick, we're going to step to the left leg this way into a guardian. So we relax, side kick, step, guardian block, feet together, guardian block. Hold up. So this is one yo. So a couple of things to talk about with one yo that could be tricky, absolutely tricky, especially when they're in the first. Gabberlio Sugi being the first one. So we're, we've come into our punch for the first side kick here. Foot comes in, we move into this position, which is Gabberlio Sugi. So come in and drop. Okay. The, the, this leg here, when it comes in, this leg here, when we finish the, the stance, it should be bent because it's called ready bending stance. This foot is, it's not in a, uh, it's not in a side position like already for the kick. It's in a position where we can think about our heel, maybe close to our knee, okay? The knee is bent and it's kind of at an angle. The next move from here is where we rotate our hips. So from here, we'd be rotating our hips into the side kick. So the prep is this way and we're still, uh, we're still kind of facing, looking forwards. So we're not looking to the side, okay? And our whole body is not to the side. We are at a half facing position. So remember half facing in L stance, we're a garden block, half facing position in Gabberlio Sugi. It's the same type of position, okay? So when we move from here, we start with our legs straight, we go down and then we go up hands come up and then we drop when we drop okay when we drop and we bend our knees into this stance here the foot's going to come up and the, the hands are going to come down so we have this motion and we have a little bend in the knee so the hands and the knee at the back they work together okay you can imagine that they work together and then the other foot comes up at the same time so this foot is coming up to kind of meet those hands so back leg here imagine the back leg just shake it off for a second don't usually hold them for that long. So the back foot here is coming down with the hands as this front foot comes up. So I'll just do the back leg and the hands first. Here's the back leg and the hands. And then we bring the, the front, this foot up, this foot up into the stance. Okay, so again, from here. The bird of the second. So how you practice this is you isolate it. Okay, you need to isolate this first and practice it from just this position here. So one hands come up and down. We want to get used to that motion and balancing, okay? And then maybe throw in a few kicks from here as well. Same on the other side, you're in this position, you want to relax and drop into the stance, okay? So, Gaburio Sugi, Gaburio Sugi, Gaburio Sugi. It's a tough one to, to there's, a lot of, there's a lot going on there to get that right, okay? Um, the other thing to talk about in Guan Yo, which can be tricky, is the circular block. Okay, so we've gone through our pattern and we've got to the place where we have this punch. Okay, so the circular block, uh, the feet come together first of all, and the, the first one's usually quite easy in the pattern. Hand is out here, and this hand's on the hip. When we step forwards, the hands come out. Um, pretty evenly. When we go down with our legs straight to sine wave, the hands are going to come uh, come down as well. Down, and this one goes underneath. As we come up, a little bit higher, and then we drop into our block. So, in one motion, relax. Okay, so we're really dropping. And then we have, uh, this is what's called reverse half facing. Then we have foot snap kick punch and we do another reverse half facing. So what's reverse half facing? Very simply at this point everybody has done half facing in all their blocks such as low section block, middle block, knife hand block, um, not, not, not this but uh, middle block here. So here's the trick with this one. If you know what a half facing position is, front walking stance here, all you need to do to, to feel what reverse half facing is, is keep your body position and change your feet. If you change your feet like this, you're now in a reverse half facing position. You don't need to dip your shoulder or bend in any funny ways. 
think about a regular half-facing position that you're familiar with, and think about what it would feel like if you switched your feet, okay? So it shouldn't feel really awkward. You don't have to pull your body back really, really far. It should naturally fall into that position for you. So here, through, first half-facing, 